And welcome to the April 2nd Psych Board meeting. The board is present, minus Mike and Tom. We have the town clerk, we have the town manager, member of the planning board. Uh, let us stand for the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. First, we have the approval of our meeting minutes from March 19th. I make a motion that we approve the minutes of March 19th. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Unanimous. <laughs> All right. Uh, first public comment. Name and address. Hi, Michael Larue, 263 Pine Hill Road. Um, I'm here today as just a member of the public that um, it's come to my knowledge that the town has been doing stuff without pulling permits, and I just wanted to speak on that. Um, there's a generator out there that has a stop work order and also a public works generator and then the plumbing in the women's bathroom. Um, I know that the things are working them out, but you know, it's good to make that publicly known that, you know, when you expect us to get permits and the town doesn't, it, even if it's the town doesn't have to pay for the permits, it's still a good thing to have the permits. I mean, that just... I don't know. I just find that, you know, kind of weird. That. Other than that, um, we did a tour of the uh, wastewater facility, and that place is really nice. Um, both Jay Wheeler and Mike Tibbetts gave us the tour, and they have plenty of supply and demand, and um, there's a lot of room for expansion already because of prime tanning. Um, and that was pretty much it. Sure. All right. Thank you. Um, I just want to bring up, I know that we're on the heels of a potential another storm, but the last time, week, two weeks ago, we had a storm, and um, it was nice to see that um, we had a volunteer who set up the warming center at the town hall. We had some citizens who used it, and um, I'm just glad to see that's functioning, and hopefully that'll be available if we lose power and we need to do that as well. Um, so it was just good to see that, good to see the, that that plan come to fruition. I know we talked about it in the budget last year about doing that happen. So thank you to um, Lisa Husis who volunteered and the uh, fire chief who kind of organized it and put it together and as well as you, James. Um, that was good to see. And if the town loses power um, for a significant amount of time, um, the community should look to see that that may be a possibility of opening as well. And please understand there's a difference between, um, uh, you know, having it open for heating and, and stuff as, a, uh, as opposed to an actual shelter overnight. Um, but that was the first thing. Second thing, I just wanted to give kudos again to the Burke Rec Department. They had their annual Easter egg hunt, and there was lots of kids there. There were lots of happy kids there. Um, and they did a great job getting things out there, even though it was a little windy and the eggs were blowing all around. Um, <laughs> but uh, the kids had a great time, and it's just it's it's um, it's good to recognize them that they continue to do things for the citizens. That's all I have. Terrific. Uh, I will close public comment. We have no public hearings, no reports of committee, no department reports. No guests or presentations, no unfinished business. Town manager's report. We had some oil that was found uh, during the Moulton Street project. Uh, what oil was that? Yeah, some oil. Um, oh. Oil, yeah. Oil. So, Like I drilled into the earth and... <laughs> no, no, we're, okay. not, we're not rich. <laughs> no, we're not rich. <laughs> no, we're not, not entirely sure on the source, but um, it logically would be if someone dumped it down the storm drain yeah it accumulated down there um early indications that it's a relatively minor issue thankfully there is some contamination there that we're working through testing 
Um, so basically what's happening with the, the MS4 project is uh, it's a slight delay at this point as they um, send it out for test to determine what level of remediation is, is needed. Mm -hmm. Uh, we do, part of our MS4 program, we do um, test and collect water samples. Um, so if this is a continual thing, we'll catch, you know, we'll find out who's polluting in our stormwater system. But it might, it might have just been a historical thing, and we just don't really know the, the time frame of it. Uh, I have a couple, couple of things that were printed off, uh, bi-monthly submittal guidelines. Murray will be here at the next meeting to go over that. Um, we just realized we have some things submitted to the bi-monthly and um, just realized we really had no criteria. Um, if there's something that seems like it maybe didn't fit, to have something that's approved by the select board um, would just actually give us some teeth and some de deference to what can or can't be in the bi-monthly. Um, also printed out uh, is the community, community garden land use agreement. It will also be something for the next meeting to dive into further. Um, some of the lease uh, terms talked about maybe 20 year lease term or, and then some provision um, if it kind of goes defunct of flushing that out. So uh, and Marina, provided us with this draft there's some good language in there for a start we can do the deeper review next meeting and as linda said we're looking at a, a weather event for thursday which means planning board may be canceled if town hall is closed uh, but if we're looking at an extended power outage then we will look at opening town hall as a warming center and luckily we were the only only place like one of a handful of places in Burroughs that actually had Wi-Fi and power. Yeah, yeah fortunately. Good. So yeah, that completes my report. Thank you. Any questions for the town manager? Okay. Uh, select board communications. Uh, just another Xfinity note. Uh, changes the channel lineup and some. Subscription-based stuff is going up in price. Typical Xfinity notifications. Um, accounts payable. All right. We have a payroll warrant number 71 from March 28th in the amount of $87,950.40. We have an account payable warrant number 72 from March 28th, in the amount of $111,985.81. Accounts payable warrant number 73 from March 28th, in the amount of $47,623.54. Payroll warrant number 74 from April 4th, in the amount of $83,057.74. Accounts payable warrant number 75 from April 2nd in the amount of $6,341.96. And accounts payable warrant number 76 from April 2nd in the amount of $80,503.30. I make a motion that we pay our bills. I second the motion. Any further discussion? Is there a reason how come that they're dated the same but they're all separate? Why they weren't all put together? One more? That's just accounting stuff. It's, it's it's happened many times that way. <coughs> All those in favor? Moving on. Uh, new business to set a public hearing date for the June eleventh, twenty twenty four town meeting. The town clerk recommends uh, May twenty first, twenty twenty four. Any questions or issues with that? Mm -mm. No. I make a motion that we set the public hearing date for the June 11th, 2024 town meeting election for May 21st, 2024. I second the motion. Any further discussion? All those in favor? We have to set the polling hours for the June 11th, 2024 town meeting election. The town clerk recommends 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. 
We're not going to make it 6 a.m., I promise. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I will make a motion that we set the hours from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. for polling on June 11, 2024. And yeah. I will second the motion. Any further discussion? One question. Yeah. Are we going to... Uh, no, I don't see is, uh, Are we going to close so that your staff can be upstairs? I'm not sure yet, which is why I didn't put that out. I have a GA caseworker who now works 8 to 2 on Tuesdays, so I'm thinking of keeping customer service open from 8 to 1. Okay. Um, so she can do GA appointments if needed. Okay. So, but i got to work that through, and it depends upon how many um, volunteers I get to work the polls. Okay. All right. so, thank you. Let us know. I will. Thanks. Any further discussion? All those in favor? All right. No quick claim deeds, no abatements. Any second public comment? All right. I'll close second public comment. Uh, we will have an executive session for discussion of personnel. No decisions will be made in that uh, discussion, so I won't be coming back out. Any other business non-agenda items that anybody wants to discuss? I have the four quick claim deeds uh, back to um, Tibbetts. So they paid off the back taxes for the automatic foreclosures. Okay. So they are completely paid up? Four out of the five properties. Four okay. out of the five properties. Okay. Did we make some sort of agreement on the last one, or is that just going to roll forward? And they have approximately 30 days to make the payments so there's it was 60 no, days to start and they're yeah, halfway through yeah okay. okay um do we need to do any kind of vote or we just yep i need a, a vote to approve the deed the quick claim deed back to the okay property owners and these are oh, they're all verified paid all good yep can i do this as one or do should i do it as four you can do it as one okay i'll make a motion to approve the municipal quick claim deed without covenants for map R059, lot 004-A, map R059, lot 001-002, map R055, lot 003, and map R059, lot 004. I second the motion. Any further discussion? All those in favor? All right, we'll get those all taken care of. Any other non-agenda items? Um, the other thing I'd like to add is that we went to the Easter egg hunt. It was very nice. It was very windy like it was last year. <laughs> it was much more fun with the playground there for the kids while they were waiting. And yeah. Everybody seemed to have a great time there. Um, I, we felt bad for the people that showed up late. We, sh we were there, you know, 10, 15 minutes early, started at 10. Started right at 10. We were out of there by about 10.08, and there were people showing up at 10.08, ready to walk in with their baskets, and I felt bad because I knew there was not much there left. So punctuality is important when it comes to Easter egg hunts, I promise <laughs> well, yeah. you. Um, and, uh, yeah, the storm, I don't know what's going to happen with that. I've heard anything from 1 inch to 12 inches and yeah. everything in between. We had one storm already this year that was, like, going to be 6 inches that turned into nothing, so... We'll, we'll have to see what happens with that, but just everybody stay safe. Make sure you have your contingencies planned. And uh, don't go out driving unless you have to, because uh, that's the worst thing you can do. To, don't just go driving around. Um, all right, I'll make a motion that we enter executive session under Title I, subsection 4056A for the discussion of personnel. Second the motion. Uh, all those in favor? All right, good night. Right. Thank you. Bye, Mike. Yeah.